Okay, lighting's a little bit bad at the moment. It's the end of the day. I was about to go to sleep. And I realised how um, infrequently I'm aware of uh, my current dependencies. But four different horsemen of addictions. One of them I'm doing a fantastic job dealing with at the moment. The other three, not so much. Uh, the two biggest culprits are, of course, Sugars and YouTube which I find myself consuming almost on a daily basis and very rarely do I seem to have a clarity to just be aware of how much it's impacting me, hence this video. Okay, that intro out of the way, what do I really want to remind myself of looking back? What is it that I need to keep at the forefront of my mind when I'm feeling like I'm going to fall back into the loop? So the best way to prevent myself from falling back into the loop is to realise it's endless. There's no end to it. Going back and buying some more chocolate or some more sweets, whether it's at the local shop or going somewhere more distant for it, is only going to reinforce that dependency on uh, the sugars for the dopamine. It's only going to reinforce my addiction to it. No matter how tough I feel like it is, to combat that, I, every time I do end up relapsing and eating more, it just makes the problem worse. Secondly, when it comes to YouTube, I need to remind myself that it's endless as well. Um, my brain just craves that <sighs> mindless sitting in my chair right there, staring at the screen, and I can do that for, comfortably for six hours on end. A whole day sometimes. Uh, there are days where I go all... 16 hours that I'm awake just watching YouTube sometimes it's crazy and I think the most important reminder for myself is browser history it's like every big tech company will have that information on me whether it's somewhere in BlackRock on a massive powerful server or if it's the Chinese Communist Party on one of their powerful quantum computer servers or some US tech company like Google or whatever it is, wherever in the world, they're going to have all of that information on me about all of my browsing history. And with that, they're going to see hours and hours and hours and hours of addiction to YouTube. They're just going to want to reinforce that. They know where my weak spot is and they're just going to try to exploit it. So I've got to really give more consideration to reinforcing my own life, not being dependent on that, and uh, cutting it from my life. So um, these two big ones at the moment uh, in regards to unhealthy food practices with an excess of sugars and not being able to sit there comfortable with the discomfort, the hunger, the low sugar levels, and also uh, the discomfort of not wanting to mindlessly watch content non-stop. There's never going to be an end to it. Like, never. There's endless content to watch. There will always be another video that I will want to watch. And I can get bombarded with that. And it can take away all my time. All my attention, but more importantly, all my time. Or I can focus on spending my time on things that actually matter in my life. And... A lot of people say, oh, one way or another, you should just enjoy your life. But I feel a very deep, um, I don't know what's the right word I'm looking for, but it's like, it goes deep, basically. Lack of control. Whether it's an AI algorithm doing it, or some guy making a decision behind the AI algorithm that leads to the decisions that I'm making or, well, that I think I'm making, I don't feel like I'm making those decisions, and I, I, I guess I want a bit more of control over, you know, my sense of my, um, I don't know what words I'm trying to use, I guess more authority over myself, as opposed to leaving it in the hands of some lines of code or another person. That's probably the simplest way I want to put it with this message. So yeah, um, I'm not very aware in those moments where I'm about to buy sugar or I'm about to watch a YouTube video, just how bad those actions really are. I'm not aware in that moment. And 
this video that I made right now is just for me to remind myself of that. Be more productive. Sit and do nothing. Stare at the wall if I have to. I feel like even that would be better, honestly. I feel like my life would be better if I spent two hours staring at a wall instead of two hours watching YouTube. But I, I don't feel that way before I watch YouTube. I don't feel that way while I'm watching YouTube. I only feel that way after watching YouTube. Yeah, after watching YouTube. After I feel like I've just wasted another two hours feeding the algorithm, having less control over my life, reinforcing my own addictions. It's only afterwards that I get to reflect on it. And I feel like I'm just wasting my life. There's a very limited amount of time that I've got. And only a very recent awareness of how fast it's going and the fact that it's going to keep going faster. And how important it is for me to put the hard work in now. To not mindlessly watch YouTube and eat sugars. But put the hard work in now. Get the proper sleep. Do the proper exercise. Practice mindfulness. Not be distracted. Put some hard work in. Do that now. And then I get to enjoy the rest of my life quicker. There are too many variables. And watching more and more videos is only going to add variables to this equation. Of how I want to live my life. It doesn't have to be this complicated. And I do not need to torture myself by making it more complicated. And watching more videos and getting more ideas. I could make my life way more simple. Yeah, today I ate two chocolate bars, and I watched maybe six hours of YouTube videos. I'm not happy with that. Before I watch those videos, before I buy that chocolate, it seems to be the only thing I want. And then when I get it, I'm happy in the moment. In the long run, I regret it, and I wish I don't do these things. Alright, thanks for watching.